Hello guys and welcome again to Esiwakago YouTube channel and today I just want to say a big thank you to ya all for watching my videos each and every time I get to post a new video. You guys are amazing. May God bless you so much. So, uh huh? Today I'm shooting somewhere at the backyard of my house and I'm just taking this advantage because I know soon and very soon it's gonna be we i mean snowing it it's already winter it's cold that's why i'm dressed like this see so um the reason as to why today i came here is just to discuss something that is not very very pleasant but you know what we have to discuss about the good things and the bad things even as we focus on America as a nation by saying this I want us to discuss something all I want to just cover something that happens in America and you can hear the dogs from my neighbor's house something that happens in America it happens like so often and it is not a good thing it is one of the most saddest things that could ever be talked about all i'm not even like happy talking about this because it is a sad thing due to the fact that it is something that affects our children when they are in school and also as a parent i would feel the pain that parents go through all any parent could go through in case such a thing happens what am i trying to talk about here i'm trying to talk about the massive shootings that happens in schools here in america yeah we have the best side of america and we also have the ugly side of it so and this is something that happens in every place we have the good side and the bad side about a place so one of the most ugly truth about America is that they do experience massive shootings and this is something that happens now and then and I was reading an article and someone said um, it is it was talking about how COVID made these things to slow down a little bit like to break the trend that was there since 2018 to 2021 and it was talking about between 2018 and 2021 there have been 89 shootings in schools and the most recent one happened in Michigan Oxford Michigan that's a high school which left four people dead and and i mean student four students dead and seven others injured so i just wanted to let you know that as much as we have a lot of security in america the way they guard the schools and stuff still these things do happen and we as parents it is a sad truth a reality that we have to just accept rather fight with let me say fight with because it is not a good thing when you are uh you your kids are in school and then they shoot you an email saying they are saying like they are thinking like there is an intruder in the or an active shooter inside the buildings and you know what here in america a school is just a single building such that when you enter there are just like four or five exits in that building meaning it's not like the um, schools we used to school at in africa where you have uh, some blocks this is block for class one block for class two no here in america they build a whole building and then the classes are just uh, named and that makes it so worse and the reason as to why they do that is because of the weather because the whole building needs to be uh if it is during winter they need to heat the building or if it is during the summer they will need to cool the building so with that reason they have a setup such that you can only enter when you enter it looks like a mall so there are so many classes but all of them are under one roof and the entrance is just a few of them and the exits the same so that makes it even more complicated when these incidences take place 
And I believe it is one of the reasons why they manage to kill many people because people cannot flee. Because for um, you to get into the building, you need to have access to the building. If I am a parent and I want my child, I cannot just go there walking. No, the doors are always locked. But does this help? I do not think it helps, but I think it solves like... 80% of the problem but we still have the 20% of the problem which up to date I cannot even be able to explain how these people get inside these buildings and they start shooting in these schools they also have security they use they have security personnel but again you see whenever someone attacks you unaware you cannot be able to be the first one to act they are always the first one to act and i believe that is where they get to kill people before the issue could be resolved i am so so much thankful and i cannot fail to say that here in america the response team is very very fast like within seconds as soon as they are notified they will be here they will be there on time so thanks to the uh, government of america and also the police and all the other people who help the country to keep peace uh thank you to them because they do act very fast in fact very very fast and that helps a lot but I was just wondering what could be done to avoid these massive shootings in America because it is a very sad state to the parents, it is a very sad state even to the uh, students because they get traumatized after the incidents and some of them will even feel fear to go back to the same school but they still have to go back to the school and to continue with, the, with their education. But what could be done to make this or to just bring this to an end and I, I was asking myself could it be that they need to re, uh, reduce uh, the availability of weapons could it be that they need to be checking the students when they are entering the buildings whether they have the weapons could it be they need to, to do like maybe put a scanner like at the airports that can show if you have a um, if you have um if you have a gun or you, if you have any weapon with you either hidden or not hidden maybe at the entrance or every entrance could have that so that they can get scanned i don't know why it doesn't happen or it hasn't happened yet but i would want just to um think like that is something that could help to uh cut off this uh type of um problem maybe with another 10 percent so i just wanted to let you know this and it is a very very sad story and this um happened uh on november 30th where a school in michigan um had an active shooter and that shooter was only 15 years you can imagine a 15 year boy being able to gun down people like i think even the availability of these weapons because here in america you can buy a gun as long as you can get to the store and buy it and i do believe even parents having the weapons inside their homes they also kind of like um make the kids think the weapons can be used anyhow by anyone as long as you have it so i think the american government need to do something and to check to revisit the rule about guns to revisit the policies about guns maybe probably this would bring down the active shooting uh, incidences here in america as as you work ago if i would be given a chance to talk about it i would just um plead with the government of america to just revisit or review the policies about her holding guns or being allowed to have a gun gun licensing and stuff so that we can see if this would help our students if this would help our children if this would help those parents who go through such trauma 
losing their loved ones, their kids through shooting in school. And to make the matters worse, most of these shootings happen being done either by a teacher or a student. Like the recent one was a student 15 years of age. That is very, very, very ugly coming from a student shooting other students for whatever reason or whatever mental um, problem that they had. I don't know if they had any, but the truth is we need to regulate the use of guns and we need, we as Americans, we need to review the gun policy. So up to this point guys bye bye and i'll see you on the next video do not forget to keep on keeping on here at eswakago youtube channel where we inform inspire and encourage people so bye bye when you see me just say hi <laughs>